everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our service today. We are going to be thinking today, we are still in Advent, but on our, are we on the third? Fourth. Somebody help me, we're on the fourth. Yeah, we're on the fourth Sunday of Advent. I can't believe that. Wow. Where was I last week? So we are still in Advent, but because we're on the fourth Sunday, we're very, very near Christmas. So we are going to be thinking about the Christmas story today. So we're going to be starting with one of the carols that helps us think about the Christmas story, one we all know. So it's in your red hymn books. It's number 79. It's O Little Town of Bethlehem. So that's hymn number 79. And we're going to stand to sing. Advent calendar. 
Yeah, all the children get, oh, some animals are like that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have as well. So we've been counting down the days on the advent calendars, haven't we? At church we have our advent candles, our advent wreaths, we're going to light that in a moment. We'll be lighting four candles because we've had four Sundays. And on this, the fourth Sunday of Advent, we begin to think about Mary and about her important role, of course, in carrying a baby Jesus. And we're going to be thinking a bit more about that with some of your help a bit later. But we do, we always begin by saying sorry to God. Because if we're honest and we think back, there's always things we've done that we wish we hadn't done. and We might have hurt our friends or our family or our relationship with God. So we always start by saying sorry to God. And if you turn to these service booklets, you open them up at the top of page four. We're going to have a short pause and then pray together this prayer of penitence. And in obedience and in sorrow, let us confess our sins to God the Father. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Now when we're in the time of Advent, we don't actually sing the glory, and instead we're now going to light our Advent wreath. We have got four candles, so I'm hoping we might have four volunteers to help us light this. I'm going to try and pick people from different families. Chloe, do you want to come forward? Yeah? Do you want to come? Have we got someone here, the little boy, do you want to come? Yeah? Mm. Is that boy over there want to come or not? No? Okay, that's fine. Do you know family? What about this fella here? Do you want to come? You can come with them if you want to, parents or whoever's with them today. Might need to actually, to help them light the candle. So, who's going to have the longest arm here, do we think? Because they might have to go first. Right. Do you want to come up here, Kevin? I'll get down. We might need a new taper, I don't know if I'm saying that to can you try and reach? Can you reach that one or not? That purple one right over there? Big stretch. That's great. Well done. Can you can sit down. Who's next door there? Yep. Can you try what you need help? Yep, that's great. Thank you. So as I said, we're lighting four candles today. The fourth candle actually reminds us of Mary. Yep, so she can light the pink one, yep. And that then reminds us of Mary, who of course is the mother of Christ. And she offered her life in obedience to God's cause. I think we've got too many people here, I'm afraid. One of the boys, I would say. Well, he can stay there and blow it out if he wants. Sorry about that. It's hard on you. Let's go to the second step. Can you reach that one for me? Just trying to do this in height order rather than any other. That's great. That's done. Okay. He might want it once he's up the steps, I think. You can this next. I put that down in a minute. Are you coming up? Go up with lost it. Oh. I might stand 
tell the whole of the Christmas story and we're going to need some helpers and um, Kate's going to help me as well. Well, What are you doing Kate? Dare I ask? (laughs) Um, (laughs) um, You know, it's nice to get a bit of warning if you're going to fly through the church. (laughs) So, hands up who wants to help us? Yeah? Do they know where they're going? Or are you going to give them a clue? Just about to tell them. You go for it, Kate. I'll sit here. Are you ready? Who is supposed to be a Mary, a Joseph, an angel? Can come and join me over there at the Lady Chapel. And I don't care how many or how few you have mentioned them. And the innkeeper knows what he's doing, so I won't say anything at all about that. Anybody who's a shepherd will go towards the back there, um, where the doors are through the kitchen area. And anybody who's a kid will almost stuck over by the pond. Nobody has to say anything, although if you feel inspired to, 
by all you do so. We've still got loads of clothes over there in our dressing up boxes at the back and props. So if you want to grab something quickly, you can. Right, positions. Oh, and Reverend, Reverend George will... Well, I'm going to come on a journey, I think, aren't I? Or you can stay there and just tell the story from there. It's up to you. Oh, that would take me moving around, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Everybody know where they're going? Who wants to go? Everyone got a costume? Which one's he being? He is a innkeeper over there, please. Oh, no, no, no. At the back. At the back. There's a chap there. He'll help you as well. Through that door. You've got a little innkeeper coming, Lyle. Boy in the blue. He's going that way. He hasn't gone far enough. Great, and who have we got here? Oh, another man in wonderful. Oh, and a donkey. I love it. You follow Kate with the wings. Oh, he's come back again. Oh, he's forgotten. <laughs> right, is everybody where they want to be? Or where they need to be. <laughs> Can anybody want to join in your other move? Right. No, everyone's avoiding eye contact. Um, actually, I don't know if I do. No, I'll see what happens. I don't know if I see what happens. So, okay. I think we're ready for our Christmas story, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So. Once upon a time, everybody, a long time ago, 2,000 years, we need to look over this way because some angels appeared. Where are the angels? Can you jump out, angels? And they said, Behold, I have a great message. Can you say that? Behold, <laughs> I have a great message. Who's your message for? It's for Mary. Where's Mary? All the Marys wave at us. Can you say hello to the angel? Can you ask what, say what's the message? And you are going to have a very, very special baby. Wow. So Mary is going to have a very special baby. But first, she needs to go on a very long journey. Did anyone bring a donkey? You got a donkey? Yeah? So, I think the Marys and the angels go with them to show them on the way. Yep. They're going to have to go on a long journey all the way to the inn at the back. We'll have a bit of music while they're on the way to the inn. Here we go. Off they go and we'll watch them go that way. to what 
we might call the tower, but what <laughs> they would call the barn, the stable. Right, they better open that barn door, I think. There they are. Oh, can you hear the animals? <laughs> Do anyone in there? <laughs> well, that looks a lovely spot to have a baby. So that night, oh, I don't know why they always say all calm and still. I don't want to be calm and still about it, but Mary had the baby, didn't she? Baby Jesus, the king of the world, the light of the world. And I think she had some visitors as well. Are there any shepherds? Oh, the angels haven't been to the shepherds. Oh, crikey. Well, there's a lot going on in this story. So, angels, can you find the shepherds?
Dear God, Mary and Joseph were excited as they looked forward to the birth of their baby, but also worried about the difficulties they faced. We know that you rejoice with us in the good times and are there supporting us in the bad times. Amen. Dear God, the shepherds took care of the sheep they were responsible for. Remind us to face up to the responsibilities we have as stewards of your world, and help us to take care of it and all the living creatures we share it with. Amen. Dear God, the angels spread the good news of Jesus' birth and all who heard their message were filled with joy. Help us to share the joy and wonder we have in our faith, both at special times and in the everyday living out of our belief in you. Amen. Dear God, we pray for all those we know and love who are finding life difficult because of illness, worry, and concern for the future. We pray for those who find this time of year especially difficult because they are sad when everyone else appears happy. Amen. Now come to a part of our service called the Peace. Would you please stand? May the peace of God make you completely holy, ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And now to sign that we want to live in love and peace and harmony with one another, we just turn around where we are and give one another a wave and a smile. And we're going to sing again now. This time we're back to our red hymn book. It's number 394, Tell Out My Soul. So that's hymn number 394.
return now to our Eucharistic prayer, which is halfway down page seven of our service booklet. This is our special prayer where we bless the bread and the wine. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your heart. We lift up thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, good Father to us all, your face is turned toward your world. In love you gave us Jesus, your Son, to rescue us from sin and death. Your word goes out to call us home, to the cities where angels sing your praise, and we join with them in heaven's song. Our Father in heaven, 
notices for today before our final prayer blessing. I just want to say again thank you so much to everyone who joined in with that nativity, uh, particularly the younger people, but the um, older people did very well as well. Can we give another round of applause? They did really well. Thank you. Well done. Well done. So, this evening is our carol service. So we're having our service of nine lessons and carols at five o'clock today. So I do really encourage you to come along to that if you can. We'll be singing everybody's favourite Christmas carols, hearing the story again of the birth of Christ told, obviously through Bible reading, and the choir, there'll be more of them this evening, are singing some lovely anthems as well. So that's five o'clock um, this evening. Now, um, unfortunately, as we've all seen in the world, COVID rates have been increasing, so we've decided I hope this is right, to cancel our Advent study on Monday, is that right, yeah. So the Advent Bible study group that usually meets tomorrow morning has actually, that one has been cancelled. But all the other things that are on your service sheet, we're still currently planning on going ahead with. So we've got our Christmas Eve service, traditionally called Midnight Mass, and then on our Christmas Day service as well. So do join us for any of those um, as you can. Let's stand for a final prayer of blessing, please. That is his birthday. Oh, it's him. Okay, yeah. I'm afraid you're going to have to pause before your prayer of blessing. It's her birthday. And I gather, is Chris here? Is she hiding? Chris, I hear that you've had a birthday. So there's no way around it. <laughs> Did you have some cake? That's always my question. Oh, well done, brilliant, wonderful. Has anyone else had a birthday this week, just gone? Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. and marvellous. Who are your name? Lucinda. Lucinda, wonderful. What day was yours? Thursday. And were you able to do anything? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, lovely, that's nice. Yeah, yeah spent it with the family. So I think we could sing Happy Birthday to Chris and Lucinda, please, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
do join us if you're able to for refreshment just over the road in the Green School immediately following this service. Prayer of God's blessing. May God himself, the God of peace, make you perfect and holy and keep you safe and blameless in spirit, soul and body, ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.